in my hand. I am holding with me a cell phone. Now, you might look at the cell phone and you might think to yourself, maybe it's not the most beautiful phone you've ever seen. And as well, you might look at it and think, well, this is one of the most outdated phones in our current time. And you might have different kinds of thoughts regarding this phone. But what if I tell you that what makes this phone, this phone, is not what we see on the outside. For what we see on the outside is nothing but just the surface. But the value is not on the outside. The value is what's on the inside. And just like this, so is the human body. The value is not on the outside, but the value is on the inside. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back yet again, guys, to yet another episode where today we are going to discuss such a distinct topic, talking about how the phone and the body of a human being and the mind are just alike. <laughs> Welcome to the channel guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way in and welcome to the family. Now today guys, we are going to be talking about such something very interesting. How the phone that we use, the daily mobile phones that we use on a daily basis, how they can be likened to the body and your mind. How do the two work together? How do the two come together and then form part to become one thing? Interesting, isn't it? Well, today we are going to discuss further and dive deep and try to understand how this thing right here can be likened to a human body. Now, first of all, guys, the phone has an operating system and other functionalities as well that help the operating system to functions. Now these operating things or other functionalities that are incorporated within the phone can include the RAM, the storage, the processor, and many, many, many other functions. Now me not being able to see the operating system at face value does not mean that the operating system is not existent. Whether I can see the operating system or not, I cannot then rule out that the operating system of this phone does not exist by simply looking at the physical product. Now, one thing I want us to note, guys, is that the operating system does not just operate as the operating system. The operating system as well needs the physical product for it to be able to work. Without the physical product, we cannot have the operating system. Now, when it comes to the human body, the human body and the mind are two things that come together and form one. The other one is an operating system and the other one is the hardware that we are physical proof of. Mm. Guys, today's topic is so interesting. So make sure that you move with me every step of the way. Let me repeat that. The human body, just like the phone, also operates with two kinds of functionalities. It has the operating system and the hardware. And when it comes to the human body, the human body, we can then conclude that the human body is the hardware and the mind is the operating system. Now, the two cannot exist without each other, for the two are dependent and they coexist with one another. The one depends on the other for it to function at its peak. Therefore, 
we can conclude that the body cannot work without the mind, for the body depends on the mind for it to be able to work. However, we cannot see the mind of a person. Some might then say, oh, but the mind is the brain. But the brain is not the mind, for the mind is activity. So for us not being able to physically touch the mind, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. The same way that you cannot see or touch an Android system or even an iOS operating system is the same way that you cannot touch and see the mind. Although we can see the proof of its existence through the results that we produce in our life. Now, I'm sure most of you can testify that if you decide to take your phone and play games on it 24-7, the processor and the battery is going to be worn out quicker. Now, does that mean that the processor and the hardware, or rather even the battery, is not strong enough? No, that is definitely not the case, for we realize here that usage determines durability. Now, even though the operating system was designed to reach those demands, even though the operating system has the RAM and the processor to be processing those type of graphics, we can testify, guys, that the operating system and the battery and the processor and the RAM is going to be worn out quicker compared to someone who's using the phone for a totally different case. Someone who might be using the phone for journaling, someone who might be using the phone for pictures, someone who might be using the phone for social media. Their rate of usage and the rate of durability of the phone compared to someone who's using it for uh, games and other hardcore services, we can testify that the one who's using it for journaling, pictures, and other social media activities, we can testify that the phone is going to last longer than the one who's using it for games. Which brings back our point that usage determines durability. Now let's bring it home. Now if you decide as the user that you are going to indulge yourself in narcotics and bad eating habits, even though your body and the operating system was designed by God to take out any toxins that come inside the body, excessive work on the operating system and the mind and the body is going to cause the operating system and your body to wear out quicker. Even though it was designed by the manufacturer, guys, that your body should take out any toxins that come in at a certain rate, excessive work on the operating system and the body will cause the body to wear out quicker not because the body is not strong or the mind is not strong but excessive work on the operating system will cause it to wear out quicker this is why now some of us have the problems that we have and this is why some of us now we have a 60 year old body yet we are only 20 years of age what am I saying to you today? Take care of your mind. Can I repeat that? Take care of your mind. For if you take care of your mind, your mind will take care of your body. And your body will take care of you. Just keep that in mind, guys. That just like the phone, if I decide to drop this phone, I'm going to render whether it has a powerful operating system inside of it. If I decide to break this phone and drop it on the ground, whether the operating system is good, it's going to be rendered useless because the body has been damaged. Now also, someone might then say, okay, but I'm not going to drop it. I'm going to just um, excessively play hardcore games on it. Remember, the body might be fresh, but the internals will be damaged. The processing will be damaged. And God did not design for us to be like that, guys. God wanted us to be excelling in everything, guys. 
the body must excel, the mind must excel, allowing you to think clearly. But you have to take care of both. Don't just take care of the body, okay? Don't just take care of the body. And this is the thing that the world wants us to believe, that just take care of the body. Just take care of the body and neglect the mind. But what they don't tell you that is that you have to take care of both. But unlike the phone, guys, unlike the phone, the human is just something that is so special. For if you take care of your mind, your mind is going to think of ways to protect your body. And your body is going to take care of you. I hope this message gets to someone. And I hope this changes the way of thinking and the way you have been going about your life. Now, this marks the end of our message for today. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe so that we meet again on the next episode. Now, just in case we never meet again, guys, it's been a pleasure. And until we meet again next time, good evening and good afternoon. Ciao.